Hey everybody, here we are in 2024, finally announcing the official launch of Podcast Editing School at Tanziaster Academy. We were supposed to launch in July of last year, but health issues sort of postponed that goal, and I didn't want to get lost in the whole holiday sales cycle. So here we are, six months late. Links for all of this can be found in the description below. So the big question is, what is Podcast Editing School? It started out as a standalone course that covers how to use Rx in the context of podcast editing. This part of the course essentially turned out to be a video manual for the modules most commonly used in podcast editing. The course also goes into how to use essential tools like compression, EQ, DSing, and so on. We talk about understanding what makes or breaks an edit, and a complete walkthrough of my process, from raw audio to the mix, through the edit, and getting it ready for release. Overall, there's 30 hours of video content. We have example audio to practice with. So here's a look inside the course. We've got a getting started section where we, I give links to materials that go into ear training, self-care, terminology, how microphone changes can impact the quality of the recordings, those types of things. Next, we have the Isotope RX section. This section, like I said, it goes into each of the modules we tend to use. Everything from waveform statistics and resample mixing into deep plosive, de hum, loudness control. All of them are here. And I've got video walkthroughs showing you how to use it, what adjustments are available to you, and what they do. I should probably back up. I do provide practice audio for using RX and full episode material to work on as you go through this course. So now we've got the mixing section where we go into an intro, talk about different DAWs, how to remove silence and mic bleed, channel strips, plugins, gates, and expanders. All of the common tools are here. We talk about master output, buses, and processing, how to set your levels, how to create your own templates and presets. Then we go into the editing section where we talk about different things that make a difference when we edit. Pacing, inflections, what to do about breaths, how to handle pauses, how to handle repetition of false starts, and then you have a full walkthrough of me editing an entire episode from beginning to end, talking about what I'm doing as I'm doing it. We finish that off with a short section on mastering or really kind of loudness management, and then we've got some bonus content. After putting the course together, I still felt like it was missing that key ingredient that YouTube and other courses lack, that classroom feel, a place where you can get your questions answered and ask for help with whatever you're struggling with. And that's why I started Podcast Editing School. It gives me an opportunity to work with the students to really help them develop their skills. It's part classroom and part skills lab part mentorship, and part community, all aimed at helping you along on your journey. As editors, we tend to work in isolation, with the only feedback coming from our clients who, let's face it, they often can't provide critical feedback on our work. This makes it easy for our growth to sort of plateau. Have you ever felt stuck in your growth and didn't know how to move to the next level? Do you know there is room for improvement, but you're not really sure where? 
That's where podcast editing school comes in. Get feedback on your work. Post audio you're struggling with to get guidance on how to address that specific issue. Get access to our growing library of examples and walkthroughs. Get access to weekly office hours calls. Even if you can't make the call, you can still post questions in your audio ahead of time to get them addressed during the call. So now let's take a look at the community. And we have different tiers. We have a community pass, which will get you access to everything in the podcast production community. It gets you access to our editing discussions, but it doesn't get you the the live calls and the library of content. And the pro group, we'll get into that in a different video. Let's go back to the community pass. On the left side, you'll see different sections. The podcast production community has a general discussion space. The community pass also gets you access to the editing discussions. This is where we post any kind of questions, post our audio, anything that has to do with podcast editing. Do you ever use Auphonics cloud service for post-production? We've got a post about the new beta for Yulian loudness meter. I posted some links for anybody interested in learning DaVinci Resolve. So we've got all sorts of things we can talk about in the editing discussion. The big difference between the community pass, which is $5 a month, and podcast editing school is the podcast editing school gets you the course. It gets you our call archive with our various office hours. It gives you access to our editor's library where we've got everything from different videos I've created specifically for the community. We've got some videos I've posted to YouTube. We've got RX presets. We've got examples for the volumes too low. Someone had asked about how do we handle it when we have a piece of audio that comes in at negative 60 luffs. So we've got all kinds of demos and tutorials in here. And then we've got a calendar for our upcoming events. And like I said, we'll go into Pro Group in a different video. Right now, we're focused on Podcast Editing School and the Community Pass. With the Community Pass, you do get our curated third-party content. So this is just a library of various content I've run across that is very beneficial for anybody who's getting into podcast production, editing, recording their own stuff. There's plenty of material in here. We've got videos on or links to how to edit multiple cameras and Final Cut, Beginner's Guide to Editing. We've got videos for DaVinci Resolve and Premiere, how to use Waves Max volume. There's a lot of content in here that you get even with the community pass. But I just wanted to take a minute to show what we've got in the community, what makes us a little bit different. When we put up video content, we're not putting up commercials for services. We're not putting up stuff that just touches on the basics. We're trying to help you solve your problems. We're trying to help you learn and ultimately be able to produce better content for yourself or your clients. And one of the things that the six-month delay has allowed me to do is really think about our pricing. I'd mapped out the pricing in late 2022 as I was building out the community. As such, I feel the original pricing might have been a little aggressive, so I've revisited the pricing and tried to simplify things. As I mentioned a minute ago, 
we have the community pass. That's $5 a month. You can think of this as a cheap trial to see what the community is about. It's also good for the more experienced editors who want to share their experience and help those and help out those who need guidance. We have the podcast editing school, which is 15 a month or 150 a year. This adds the course, video library, and live calls to the community pass. And then we have the pro group or the pod pro group at 25 a month and $250 a year for those who are starting or already running a podcast service business. We'll dive into that in a future video. And one other thing, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching in case you just want to book an hour with me to run through whatever you want. Most of my coaching clients get enough out of their first 60 to 90 minute session that they don't feel they need a second session. At least that's what they tell me. Hopefully I'm not scaring them off. Seriously though, there's no commitments or continuing obligations. The goal is to help you in as few sessions as possible. I won't complain if you want to hire me as your mentor and work with you for a year developing your skills and knowledge. But for the rest of you, one or two sessions should provide you with what you need right now. And you can come back when you need to take that next step. It gives me that same kind of comfort that the, that the school does, you know, which is that like, there's people who know what they're doing, who know what they're talking about and have, you know, a sincere desire to help. It's just that simple, you know? You've helped me in regards to being approachable when I have issues and not just be like, here's a link, like, just do it. Like I, and I know it helps you too to make videos on some of the issues. Cause it's like, okay, well this person's having an issue. So once you do the video and you, like you, you're, you're doing a hands-on thing, like you can watch, like tell you're blue in the face, like YouTube videos and stuff. But if they're not actually doing your, your issue, like your exact issue, it, it can help, but it's just been really helpful for you to do that. Like, okay, I'm going to take this problem. He sent me the audio. Like, this is what I would do. This is my advice, you know. And then I also love that you uh, – I'm sure people don't want to hear this answer, but you are really tough on it's not worth it. You know what I mean? You're like, do not spend the time on it. And I think a lot of editors get in their own way of trying – me included early on. Like I, it had to be so good. And if it wasn't, then I realized no one gives a crap. Like no one, especially if it's a minor issue, no one cares. Um, and so I like how you say, if you're not getting paid for this, like do not spend the time on it. And uh, that that's kind of been helpful of like, you know, let's go, man. Like <laughs> it's not worth it. No one's going to notice. This has been so valuable. You're so excellent at what you do. And I have so much confidence that I got good advice. So I really appreciate it. So I appreciate everything that you've done for me today. Thank you so much. We, we solved a lot of problems today. Wow. Just wipe them right off the, wipe them right off the desk. That was awesome. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.